Incoming transmission. Welcome, watchers of illusion, to my castle of confusion. Again, welcome to the Retro Revival Show. What have I got for you? Uh, have a look at this. Yes, it's Packland on the ZX Spectrum. And let's get thrown in straight away. Okay, so I loved Packland on the arcade. So I thought I'd give this a bit of a razz. Pac-Mania we just reviewed, which was fantastic. And as you can see, it's fairly, fairly straight to the um, to the arcade version, except for one major thing that seems to be missing is the sideways scrolling. Um, you here, flip screen is a pain in the backside with this game. Uh, it's it really is the 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 thing that drags it down the most because you reach the edge of the screen, you don't know what's coming. Um, and nine times out of ten you'll just get hit by a car or you'll jump to avoid a car and then a plane will come into view and just collide with your face so that's not great uh, but as looks go it's pretty faithful I mean you've got Pac there uh, running along with his abnormally big nose uh, his hat actually animates off when he when he jumps as well which is quite cool and uh, oh God okay these things are really quite annoying some of it's my fault actually, I'm mistiming my jumps a little bit, but still, it's a little bit, uh, you know, unforgiving. Anyway, so we're coming through, you can see the houses here, I'm, I swear these levels are longer than the arcade used to be, but there you've got Clyde, as always, trying to uh, chase you. How the hell are you supposed to get through that? No way. Okay, bad programming, there needed to be a bigger gap between there, there's no way I could have jumped through them, uh, that was just, that was ridiculous. Uh, it's one of the one of the short oh dear god okay um it's one of the shortcomings of this game where things will just appear on screen and there literally is a split second to avoid them or you're just not going to avoid them straight as that uh, collision detection oh did i just tap that guy's head with my foot see game over straight away so let's go in again and have another go and let's see how we get on but this is really really frustrating in a way because the arcade it scrolled nicely the commodore 64 version also scrolled nicely uh, i think the amstrad version was the same as the spectrum in the in which case it didn't it was just a flip screen version same as this the other thing that's missing is pushing the fire hydrants in the arcade you could push a fire hydrant and uh, it would then give you a hat which would then protect you from anything that fell from the sky so all these guys dropping ghosts on your head you'd be safe from um, power pills are present. The cherries are present as well. Actually, I'll give it that as well. That's actually um, faithful to the uh, arcade as well. But sometimes you'll reach the edge of the screen. And <laughs> there you go. There's a prime example of how this is so frustrating. You'll jump over a car only for an aeroplane to suddenly come into your jump height and then smash into your face. So yeah, it's it's a little bit um, you know unforgiving in that in that regard but you've got the you know the Pac-Man village is is in full full effect there you can see all the houses and stuff uh, in the arcade you had ghosts hanging out the windows as well and you used to have um, ghosts driving double-decker buses as well so they've kind of minimalized it in that sense but then I suppose when you've got to squeeze it into 120 uh, k and also 48k it's not a lot to play with is it now at the end there, um, Pac-Man jumps, the higher I think jump, the higher the bonus score is. So anyway, let's move on to the next level. Um, so yeah, the idea is basically you've got to get Pac over to Fairyland, and in which case you'll be granted a special pair of flying boots. And then you basically uh, can fly all the way back to the start and then you're into the next level. 
As you can see, there is just some things you cannot avoid no matter how hard you try. And that, look, here we go again. How are you supposed to get through that? It's just not possible. You just can't do it. It's That is just, whoever, did, did this game ever get play tested? Because I mean, I can't believe it shipped like this without somebody mentioning that. That's a horrible flaw. So let's see if it happens again. Okay, well, that's better. You see, the car comes from the other side this time. That makes a lot more sense. But still, twice in a row, because you can't avoid where it's coming from, is just silly. So I'm trying to push the cactus there. Because, um, like I said, in the arcade, there are uh, things you can do. Uh, like, you get a hat. I think there's a boat. I think there's a warp section as well on the uh, arcade that you can uh, do by pushing the cactuses. The cars do announce their arrival by that, by that sort of weird horn sound. Um, but you don't know which side of the screen they're going to come from. So you've got to make the most of these power pills because obviously nothing's going to arrive while you've got those active. The ghosts really don't like you when you've got those active, so you've got to make the most of them as they won't appear on the screen until it's um, until it's gone. You can chase Clyde if you want to, but I don't see the point. I'm going to make the most of trying to get to the end of the level. Um, I like the fact that they've recreated the Pac-Lan theme tune quite well, actually, in the AY. That's really quite nice. Um, and it's faithful to the arcade as well. Exactly the same uh, tune which is great and uh, the levels are surprisingly close to the arcade as well even this break time bit I just actually say break time on the arcade not just break um, and they've included the cross on the church which was actually removed in uh, some of the versions which is strange uh, so we're gonna continue on but my frustration levels are high so I'm probably not gonna be playing it for much longer okay so here we go and oh, <laughs> you see what I mean it's just like, for for a new player. I mean, some of this I knew about because I mean, up to, let's let's be honest. I haven't played this game for years and years and years because I played it last time I played it was on my ZX Spectrum, um, and I was just as disappointed then to find all these uh, shortcomings as well. So you've got to remember to jump there. Uh, but for a new player, you wouldn't have a clue, would you? So here we go again. Now I can't reach that platform. So yeah. So now I'm gonna. Anyway, I've had enough of this game. It is total poo. Here's my score. Reflects everything that I think about it. Um, see you in the next video, folks. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks very much. Cheerio, folks.